Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March the 9th of 2020. Well, it is titled Milky Way and Zodiacal Light over Chile. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image taken uh, down in Chile as states. And we can see most prominently within it our Milky Way galaxy stretching across in an arc over the sky. Now the Milky Way galaxy is our own galaxy as we see it from within. And it is what we call a spiral galaxy, meaning if we could be outside of it and look back down on it, we would see great spiral arms stretching out from the center. However, we do not see that as it is uh, we're stuck inside it. So we get a different view of what our galaxy looks like. And we see it as a flattened disk and we see great star clouds and dust clouds that are associated with it. And we can see here, for example, on the right hand side, as we look towards the central portions of our galaxy, we see a larger concentration of material than we do on the left hand side when we're looking towards the outskirts of our galaxy. This is because we are not at the center of our galaxy, but a good chunk of the way out more than halfway out towards the edge. So when we look in one direction, we see far more material. And when we look in the other direction, we're looking at far less material. Now a couple of other things that we see here. One is the zodiacal light, which stretches up from the horizon and up towards the Milky Way. Zodiacal light is caused by dust within our solar system. So while the Milky Way is outside of our solar system and is part of our galaxy, the zodiacal light is much closer to home and actually within our solar system and in the inner part of our solar system. It's dust that is reflecting sunlight. So all we're seeing there is reflected sunlight off of dust particles within the solar system. Now where might dust come from? Well, some of the thoughts for this could be collisions between asteroids throwing material out into space. And that would then continue to orbit the sun just as the asteroids had previously. In addition, comets over thousands and millions and millions of years will leave material behind in their orbits and that could eventually become dust particles that would also then reflect the light from the sun. So we can see that here stretching up uh, through the sky from the horizon up towards the Milky Way. So if you have not noted the zodiacal light before, it's a good chance to see it over the next couple of months because of the way things are positioned to be able to see that right after or shortly after sunset in the northern skies. Now the other thing that we see in this image way off to the left hand side is the large Magellanic cloud. This is a satellite galaxy of our own Milky Way. So a separate galaxy on its own, a much smaller galaxy than our Milky Way. And it actually orbits around the Milky Way, uh, much as other objects orbit around other things within the universe. So our Milky Way has satellites just as our sun has planets or the planets have moons that orbit around them. So the large Magellanic cloud is one of these is very prominently visible in in the southern sky. So if you are south of the equator, this would be something very easy to see as a fuzzy patch in the sky. Uh, that is actually another galaxy. So here we get to see not only our Milky Way and the large Magellanic cloud as two galaxies, but the zodiacal light within our own solar system as well. So that was our picture of the day for March the 9th of 2020. It was titled Milky Way and Zodiacal Light over Chile. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture uh, previewed to be Cone of Stars. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone and I will see you in class.